This is the top 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 California, California, California. A place that I'm deeply concerned about for many reasons outside of California being a very beautiful state. If you've ever been to California, then you know how beautiful it is with all the mountains and the different variations throughout the enormous state of different coastlines and different areas that are just really amazing. But California is a place that also is dear to my heart because I have family out there in California, as well as California has been undergoing many different situations that are very trying to the people over there, to say the very least. And on top of that, California was my home for about 12 years on and off from like 1998 up until 2010 California California many unbelievable things are going on in California I mean it's just totally amazing with the story that I have today for you with a new California well all I can say is with all the things that have been going on in California including the Fukushima nuclear radiation fallout that has been reportedly on the beaches there for about hmm, I would say a year a year and a half to you know a little bit more because of the readout of Geiger counters and other professional equipment to measure radiation that's just one of the biggest things I say right off the top that has been going on in California on top of that we have the wildfires of 2017 on top of that we have mudslides of 2018 and the previous breaking news in california of droughts as well as homelessness earthquakes and uh yeah los angeles being a sanctuary city and of course, we can't forget the huge celebrity accusations of sexual misconduct, sodomy and rape and <laughs> pedophilia. And now here comes another controversial story of and pertaining to California. Right now, there is a declaration for New California. Now, there's a name that sounds unusual, but it sounds interesting. And if the founders of the concept of New California have their way, New California will be its own large state, but still bordered by Old California, if you will, on the west side although this region will be very much smaller in comparison to New California. My name is Q Pate. Top Cats Connection. So, when would the founders of New California want their concept and dream to come to fruition? Well, the founders apparently would like their concept and dream to come to fruition now. This is apparent because on January 15th, 2018, the founders of New California took an early step toward statehood with reading of their own Declaration of Independence from California. This group organized with a council of county representatives and various committees, they hope to model their split from old California after the state of West Virginia, which of course split from old Virginia in June of 1863. By the way, if or when this ambitious declaration becomes manifest, New California would be 
the 51st state in the United States of America. A short review of the first paragraphs found in the executive summary in the executive summary from the founders of New California on why they are declaring New California to be its own state reads as follows from New California State dot com's website. It says here, New California is a new state in development, exercising its constitutional right to form from the state of California. The process to form New California is authorized and codified in Article 4, Section 3 of the United States Constitution. After years of overtaxation, regulation, and monoparty politics, the state of California and many of its 58 counties have become ungovernable. The nature of the state becoming ungovernable has caused a decline in essential basic services such as education, law enforcement, fire protection, transportation, housing, health care taxation, voters' rights, banking, state pension systems, prisons, state parks, water resource management, home ownership, infrastructure, and more. To be sure, a recent study issued by the U.S. News and World Report ranked California number 23 in the nation based on aggregate score measuring economy, infrastructure, education, crime, and more. When the Hoover Institution took a close look at California's migration patterns, they discovered that California's middle class is leaving the state in record numbers. Breitbart News reported extensively about the exit of California's residents. In 2013, the most recent data available, 102 972 Californians left for other states and only 66,294 individuals from other states moved to California. The only reason that the Golden State achieves a net population gain was that 169,266 was mostly due to illegal, undocumented immigrants streaming into California. Governing Magazine surveyed entrepreneurs and business owners and gives Texas, Utah, Idaho, and Virginia grades of A+, and Tennessee an A. California, whose businesses are strangled by red tape that makes starting and running a successful business difficult, gets an F for failure. California annually ranks last in Chief Executives Magazine ranking of best states and worst states. We resolve to create the free, sovereign, and independent state of New California. Should California be broken up into separate states? It's a question that's been discussed and debated many times before. And today, the latest group who feels that it should took the first steps to make their vision of California more of a reality. New at 6, CBS 13's Mark Thompson was in Marysville as the group declared their independence. Mark's in the newsroom now with more on this. Mark? Yeah, good evening. And the group is proposing to form what they hope will be the state of New California, basically separating rural counties from existing urban areas. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to seek a constitutional remedy 
to the abuse of powers. With the reading of their own version of a Declaration of Independence, founders of the state of New California took the first steps to what they hope will eventually lead to statehood. To be clear, they don't want to leave the United States. They want to expand it, becoming state number 51. But the question is, what is your problem with the current state of California? Well, it, it's been ungovernable for a long time, high taxes, uh, education, you name it. It's, it we're, we're rated really, I think, about 48th or 50th in the, from a business clim climate and standpoint in California. Here's what the state of New California would look like in blue, incorporating most of the state's rural counties and most of the state's land for that matter, leaving the urban coastal counties to the current state of California. There's something wrong when you have a rural county such as this when you, tr you go down to Orange County, which is mostly urban, and it's got the same set of problems. There's something that's causing that same set of problems, and it happens to be how the state is being governed and taxed. But unlike other separation movements in the past, the state of New California wants to do things by the book, citing Article 4, Section 3 of the Constitution and working with the state legislature to get it done, similar to the way West Virginia was formed. Yes, uh, we have to demonstrate we can govern ourselves before we're allowed to govern. And despite obstacles, doubters, and obvious long odds, the group stands united in their statehood dream. Now, the group is organized with committees and county representatives, but they're also realistic, and they say it will be some 10 to 18 months before they are ready to engage with the state legislature. <laughs> Well, I have to say this is very interesting because it reminds me of Texas wanting to succeed from the USA Union, if you will. And now we have New California wanting to become its own state, bordering old California. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what develops here. In the information description area for this upload, will be further details for you to scrutinize and to research. For the Top Cats Pride video channel and Top Cats Rebel Connection radio podcast, my name is Q, Pate. Thank you for stopping by.